Well, hello there. Today we're going to play some Outer Worlds. You know, I'm playing it on PC. I've always wanted to play it back when it came out in November. Or was it September? Either way, we're playing it now. Can't wait to have some fun. Let's get into it. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Okay. My bad. Okay. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, so. All right, yeah, we will start character. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Okay. Did just this guy just like save me or not likely bootlickers? <sighs> Initiate skip jump. to orbiting laboratory and Halcyon system. Status, structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. It's broad, it's Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Really? Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? Hey, what?
Hope's disappearance. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Okay. I was just an employee at the at the party galaxy store. I don't know. Oh, I don't know why you think I could help you. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. You. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Ah, yeah, that's... That's pretty. Okay. Let's, let's get going. <laughs> hmm, what the hell was that? It's a weird rock formation. Okay. Whoa. Look at the sky. All right. Yes, sir. I will take it. Who am I hiding from? Oh. Alright. Use to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Oh, I'm supposed to be going for a ship. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Like what? What was that?
Oh, hang on. Let me uh, treat my asthma. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Uh, sit still. I can patch you up, I guess. Wait, what happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. All right, here. Let me help you out. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh... Okay, you're hiding in a cave and you're blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Spacer's Choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, okay. Someone grounded the ship illegally? I'll hunt them down for you. I don't think I want this guy talking to the law. So, yeah. I'm good with li lying. You'd better take my gun, then. Uh, careful. It's worth more to the company than I am. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. What the hell? Can you tell me where I'm in? You hit your head or something? Yeah. You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. What the hell? Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Alright, I'm off. I'll see you later. Ooh, great. Pack with it. Okay. I'm gonna take his stuff. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Processing the tactical time dilation TTD, button slows down the world, giving you a time to think, as well as take action. You will have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacking drains it faster. The TTD meter Refreshes slowly over time. Okay. Tactical time dilation. Okay. Shoot in one nearby. Oh, what, you mean like that? Yeah.
Weapon management. You'd have up to four weapons equipped at a time. By navigating to the weapon, then selecting the weapon slot at the top of the screen on the page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. Okay. Okay. Up. Block. Oh, okay, cool. Mag pick. Your hacking and lockpicking skills help you get into the places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts or used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you'll see how many magpicks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. Sweet. Okay. Telescoping staff. What does that do? Telescoping staff. Damage 51. Conic Spaces Choice Telescoping Staff can be modified in many ways for additional cost now available. Okay. Ooh, thermal cheese, you know, you know, gotta have some of that thermal cheddar. <laughs> oh snap, it's bread. Pre and it's pre-sliced. As opposed to post-sliced. It's pre-sliced bread, so basically it's just a loaf. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try to sneak up on these guys. Oh, this guy's coming. Okay. All right. I wonder if I could take this guy out stealthfully, because I tried shooting and that was not working all that well. Apparently that's not working all that well either. Uh, come on, guy. Ooh, nice. Oh. Ah, running, my running, running, running. Ah. Time for the guns. Alright, note to self, in the space game, always use the gun. I thought if I could sneak up on him, I could just, you know... <coughs> but apparently not.
Reloading. Ooh, there's the ship. I don't see anybody else around. Oh wait, hang on. There's that guy. About three of them. Oh, who are these guys? Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. What are going to do? Get these guys to help. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. The gull on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So I heard. I found one of your teammates held up in the cave. Really? How is he? Mm, he'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. What the I hell? Just, you know. Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Uh... I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of the ship that ship is. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. The criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Alright, do it. Damn it. Oh. Oh no. Well, I didn't want her to die. Alright, I gotta be smart about this apparently. Okay, can't see me. Well, that was unfortunate, but at least their stuff is mine. Now, where's that other guy go? Spacer choice weapons suck. Ooh. Face down, assed up. That is not the way to go. Alright. Some meat. Oh, there we go. I'll take his stuff too. They're not going to need it. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay. The unreliable. Okay. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. You mean the ones that are dead outside over there? Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh, what are you going to do? Self-destruct?
I'm not here to uh, misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarded parties in five, four, three, two, one. You know, you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's not around anymore. Sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne, or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yeah, Adia. I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. I'll do my best. You, I've been promoted. Level up. Congratulations. You have gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger and advance your character. Leveling up. Increase points. Keep leveling and you'll be blah, 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 let's go. Pretty sure I learned that on the way. Alright. What we are going to do is fix my weapons. Because this, cause this gun is butt. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Okay. It's a leaky ship. I'm just going to explore the ship just a bit. I'm supposing this is the cargo bay. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Sweet. Who are you? I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Yeah, the guards and the locals had a bit of a <laughs> altercation. Hmm. 
altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. You know, I could use their gear. There's no need to, uh, you know, let their suit of armor go to waste. Eh, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. What? All right, guy, I'll be on my way. that on. Nope. Not wearing that. I look gay. Not gay, but you know, not something that I want to wear. I apologize. It's just not my style. Sorry. And I'm wearing it. Okay, hang on. Yeah, but do I really want these tubes hanging off out of me? Oh yeah, gotta wear it. For the armor. Man, I hope I get some better stuff. go this way. Then again, maybe not. know who to trust on this planet just yet. Should have known. Wait for the reload. See what this guy has. Take the ammo, take the adrenaline. Yeah, you keep the saber. Break it down for some more parts.
Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Over there. Where'd you come from? Why do you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Uh, do they pay to uh, chat with stranger? Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne. Cap. Nope. Never got your name. Uh, nope. Do they pay you to stand? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Hey, do you know who I could talk to about getting a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Little of this, little of that. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Okay. making people pay for their own graves company policy if it was up to me I'd put the whole town ten feet under free of charge sure you'll figure something out excuse me yeah. so I knew I was dressed wrong so let me get back in to this What's up, guys? Don't worry about me. Just walking around, holding out my pistol. Okay, so I'd have to walk the road. Assuming that's the tower. I'm not trying to talk to nobody. I'm just trying to get the ship in the air and be on out. Ooh, cantina. Hang on. Let's get a drink. Wait, do I have any money? You read the latest report? Excuse me. I know every face that walks through those doors. Except yours. I don't know what you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. So you're not gonna serve me a drink? Something going on here. And what is a fine establishment it is. You really think so? That's kind of you. 
I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Uh, sure. Fine by me. Let's see what's on tap. Coming right up. Hydrated water, trip teas. How much money do I? Know what? Never mind. Never mind. I'm out of dough. Talk to you later. I'll put my weapon away. Oh. And I can do that. Alright, might as well go hit up this tower. Marcus tell me I had to go inside. Monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Okay. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me, bro. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. I don't plan on staying long. I understand. Your business is your own. Nonetheless, you are welcome in our little outpost. Outsiders are a rare sight in the Vale. 
If you are a freelancer, then I have use for you. There is pay to be earned or supplies to tide you over, as you prefer. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. Okay. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let me guess. You want me to do something for you before you uh, help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power's shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. <sighs> tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I read. Wait, how will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. What if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant, taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented, and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great! I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. You gain a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. All right, let's let's roll out. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. That guy has sleeves all over him. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can we chat? It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. <sighs> Oh god. Okay, figures Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, 
he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay, how well did you know the deserters? You worked with them? You were their friends, or what? Did you know this Adelaide Reed men? Yeah. Do you know this Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. How well did you know these deserters? You work with them? Were you their friends? Or what? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. Okay. Okay. Can't really blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got some issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kin. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Alright, where would I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. I suppose... I'll think about it. Okay, I thought about it. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Hey, is there a map? Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pit. Now this must be the mission right here. Okay, how do I get in? I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. All right, preacher. What do you got for me? And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. <sighs> All 
right, Pravardi wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off the power out to Adelaide, deserters. Cut off, sorry guys. <laughs> I gotta learn how to read. <laughs> Cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. This Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater, and convince the deserters to return to the Fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Been outside. I can I'm not impressed. I can handle myself better than a vicar. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'm serious about money. I'll need to know a little bit more about this book before I agree to this. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Is the collector's domicile? Yeah, let's go talk to this lady, Adelaide. Salty cannery. Say. 
All right, sorry guys, just trying to figure out how to work this. Oh, it's on the way. All right, cool. I'm guessing this was the landing platform. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. Find this dumbass book. Talk to these guys. Hmm. Got my asthma meds back. Oh. What crashed here? if that's the natural geological landscape or if something actually crashed over there. Find this guy's book. Hang on. That'd be for me. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. We are going to see if we can sneak in, grab the book, and get out. got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery. Effectively, immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Something rare, memorable, but scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work forfeits the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want to lose those books molding in some contraband locker, so I stashed them all away in a cave over by the river.
take the armor parts. See if there's a back way out of here. And there is. Oh my god. So we stashed it by the river. Luckily for us, we didn't have to deal with those guys. Because they were obviously too much to handle. See if we can go around. Put some dialogue into it. All right, let's go. Oh, how unfortunate. Hit him. Oh, no. All right. Where are we headed? You mean about the mission being too clean? Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be clean out of church? I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. It's an ideal, not what we live in, but what we strive for. It just comes off cold to me, is all. All right, let's get back to it. Let's take all your stuff. Let's take all your stuff. Let's definitely take your stuff. Big 
cartridge. Okay, definitely got some enemies around. Okay, trying to mess with that. Watch your step. Take all of that. All right. Now let's go talk to Let's go talk to this lady, Adelaide. Oh, is that a ship taking off? What's that? Man. Someone got wrecked around here. Right, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop picking up like dumb stuff. Salt rifle it does look good. It might come in handy. Ooh, what is that? It's like a big slug. Big slug that is coming toward me. Mess with me, slug, snake thingy. I will wreck you. I will wreck you. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. 
Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Calm down. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some ant. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. You said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. We've all got problems. I just got shot into space. Explains why you're still yammering on at me. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. <laughs> well, as marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. Ah, come on. Tell me about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. How would they know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. You seem personable. Can't imagine how you didn't get on with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. What is it? Leave you be now. <sighs> Should talk to Stefan if I'm gonna find this Zoe chick. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. <sighs> Alright, uh, Reed sent me to make a... to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to the town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. 
I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a, a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. You said I was a hero. What have you got against the town? What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery. Living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Something you need? Great. I don't know what to do. Talk to other people real quick. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Keep your wits about you, friend. Keep your wits about you, friend. Okay. Oh, ah, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm passing through. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Why are you telling me this? Well, because... Because I needed to tell somebody. 
You ain't one of us, and you ain't from Edgewater, so maybe you won't judge me as harshly. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? I'd be grateful. I wanted to ask you something. What's on your mind? How long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you doing out in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh... Oh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want... Adelaide would make a place for you. Huh. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? Told you one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Whoa, calm the hell down. Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. See you around. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for tonight. I'll see you next time. Man, I'm in a bit of a quandary here. I gotta do, uh... I'm going to take the power from this place, and all the greenery and stuff. People seem to be happier. Or am I going to take it away from the Ready town? You are. Thing is, the town, they protect the people from uh, all these marauders. If I take it away from the town, what's going to happen? Alright, well, see you next time. Peace.